Welcome back to the channel, guys. We're gonna take a quick run through the farm, see what's changed over the last week. Uh, you saw in vlog one, we had tilled this up and I had said I got it planted in cover crop. This cover crop's coming up, but as I expected, it's not as thick as what I'd like it to be. Uh, we got, this, this is our sun hemp, and this was that leftover black seeded Simpson. That might fill on in if I don't jump on it and till it up, uh, but it's looking a little thin. I'd like for it to have been thicker. This was some uh, just some bush bean seed that we throwed in here on this cover crop, and we threw some sunflower out here too, but I hadn't really seen, hadn't really noticed it, so I don't know. If I get time, probably going to plow this up and put it back down thicker, just because I would have rather it been thicker to begin with. I just kind of jumped the gun on it. But that's coming up. Moving on to these outside beds. Melissa has got our bee balm bed cleaned up. She's cleaned up the, the last bed of sunflower. Our sun hemp is growing crazy. Probably gonna have a video coming out soon on that flail mower. Our cucumbers, they're about done. And we got a good picking this week. We'll probably pick them another time as soon as we can. This is going to get cleaned up. Moving over to the other greenhouse, the unfinished greenhouse, we'll call it. We, our tomatoes started blighting up on us and I knew it was just time to get them. So we had to pick, we picked a lot of them green, um, but it was time to get these cleaned up. And so we uh, cut the tomato plant off at the bottom we cut the ties that held things together. Uh, then we could just flip that whole cage out, bring it over here, and just pull the tomato plant come right out of the bottom of the cage. We just threw those old vines there. Now, I meant to point this out in vlog one and didn't. Um, what I didn't say in vlog one was that early this year, we had all, this first row was planted in peppers, and we had two late frost in May that got those peppers except for this one plant. So this has been a good test for uh, the sweet peppers and grow bags. This plant, I don't know, I didn't keep up with how many peppers we picked off of this thing, but we, you can see that it's got a lot of peppers hanging on it now. We picked way more than that off of the first picking off of this thing. So grow bags for, for peppers, definitely yes. Gonna keep doing that. Dahlias are still doing good. We've been getting rain. Haven't been having to water these things. And I just tell you, really tickled with how they are doing. Getting a lot of blooms in here. You know, have no expectations for what these uh, tubers are gonna look like when we go to harvest them and split them. Maybe we'll do a video on, on that. Um, I think they're gonna be fine. I think they're gonna look just like they do when we plant them in the ground. Really, they're, they're doing great. Up here in the upper bed, our buckwheat is coming up nice. Now, I referred to that lower bed down there, that cover crop wasn't thick like I wanted it to be. This is what I want it to look like, regardless of what I planted in it. This buckwheat is rocking, doing its job. Over here, guess what? Still didn't get these tomatoes caged or staked, but they're still making tomatoes. Not too bad. There, we'll pick a few off of them. Peppers are doing good. Probably should be up here picking those. And got all kind of basil going to seed on us. Need to be up here cutting this stuff. Bring it in the house and let it dry. Or use it, sell it, I don't know. We need to be cutting it though. Outside beds are looking good up here. I've sprayed uh, for caterpillars on a few of these bushes, just spot spraying. I've uh, weed eated half of my bushes here this week and tried to pay attention as I was doing that. Didn't see, didn't notice any caterpillars. And I mowed here uh, Thursday of this week and didn't, didn't notice any. So I'm thinking, you know, I'm doing okay in that regard. I don't see any bushes completely defoliated and I've seen that in past years. And uh, that's, a, you know, that's an indication I need to get on it, spray them. Everything's looking good uh, with the blueberry bushes. 
Stepping into the greenhouse, nothing, nothing's changed in here since our uh, last update, except for the sun hemp is uh, probably approaching, well, not hardly waist high to me. Uh, we picked a bushel of beans over the past week. We've got some more we need to pick. This tells me where I stopped and I need to go from there to the split to finish up. Right here was the split. We've got some beans hanging in here. They're filling out, looking good. Uh, tomatoes are pretty much done in the greenhouse. We need to make one more last effort to get what we can and that bed's getting cleaned up. This is uh, this coming week is the last week of produce deliveries for the summer of 2020 for us and we're ready and anxious to get this bed cleaned up and maybe we'll make a video out of that. Since our last video, uh, we've used that flail mower to clean this corner up right here. It was, you know, it hadn't been touched all year, hadn't been mowed and, you know, generally speaking, we don't, we don't need to mow it that often. So once a year is good. And uh, man, that thing did great. It, uh, just to give you some kind of idea about what it looked like in here before I started mowing, um, you see all this goldenrod right here, how tall it was. That's how tall that stuff was in there. And it didn't have no problem with it. 30 inch flail mower. Um, stay tuned guys for more videos. Hope you enjoyed vlog two. See you guys.